I hope I got this microphone set up all right in my amplifier. I'm not too loud or distorting or whatever have you. What this video is directly about is this Shure SM58. This particular mic that I've got right here is a, is a Shure SM58S, which means a switched mic. In other words, it's got a little swap-on switch on the top of it. Okay, now, right off the get-go, and of course, this is the box that the thing comes in. I'm not going to get into uh, reading off a bunch of specs and everything, because one of the very best things you can do is just simply go to www.shure.com, and they've got what they call their mic laboratory, where you can hear sound bites and examples of all the different mics that they sell and everything. Okay, and also another thing, for in order for this video to make any sense to you, go watch my very last video that I made. I, I did a, de a demo of, of an R2 preamp, and all this stuff will make a little bit more sense to you. Because the simple fact of the matter in, is, in that other video, I used this big, cheap condenser mic. This is a BM800. Yeah, you can buy these all day long, like I say, on Amazon and eBay and whatnot. Have you for 30 40 bucks. And These mics right here have a tendency to be very loud, very sensitive. And like it, the point being is there is a big difference between these capacitor, i.e. electrified, i.e. Uh, condenser mics compared to these dynamic mics. Uh, in in the physical realm, they work a little bit different and whatnot have you. Of course, it, it all depends on what you're doing as a singer, as a broadcaster, as a, a, a vocalist, an instrument player, a musical instrument player, or whatever have you, on what type of mic, you know, that you want to employ, because in the world of microphones, like I say, basically, you got two different types, these capacitor mics, if you will, condenser mics, and then these dynamic mics. I have calculated that I've, I've spent about 5,000 hours behind a, pa a passive mic or a dynamic mic, just like this show right here. In fact, for years, like I said in my other video, I use this particular mic right here, which is a PG-58, and this is, like I say, this is an SM-58, but I, after two or three weeks of messing around here, I, I'm i pretty doggone sure that I like these, these uh, dynamic mics a lot better because they cut out all kinds of environmental pol noise pollution, in other words, squeaking chairs, and this and that. And a matter of fact, with this mic right here, I can turn my, I got a set of outside speakers here. I can turn them on, and this mic right here won't squeal or feed back or any of that kind of stuff. I did a lot of tests yesterday and a lot of tests this morning using this, this mic here, and I like it a lot. Uh, if you're listening to me right now with headphones, you should hear very little hum. My voice should be relatively clear. In fact, I'm probably a little bit too loud to tell you the truth of the matter. But my recommendation when it comes to these mics is know what you're doing. I know what you need your mic for and then go from there. But, you know, I'm just telling you as a guy that's broadcasted on the Internet for many, many years and whatnot have you and, and, and fooled around with, Excuse me, fooled around with harmonica playing and whatnot, have you? I, I have a tendency to like these passive mics because, like I say, these things right here, they can create a lot of hum. You can get a lot of interference from electronic gizmos. Uh, if you live in a noisy environment, if you don't have a studio setup or something like that, you've got to be kind of leery of these, especially when you amplify these, these uh, condenser mics. But... I kind of apologize. I don't mean to be keep throwing this mic up in your f face all the time, but a lot of people get duped into thinking that this is going to make you sound better. Not necessarily, because some of these condenser mics, they run in the thousands. I've seen them anywhere from f from 3000 bucks clear up to $5,000. bucks. you are you got 100 bucks into this SM58 Shure right here. That's, you know, and that... 
That's the way I would go, plain and simple, right across the board. In other words, this particular mic right here, as far as I'm concerned, gets five stars. If that's the only way I can look at it. And this is, that's another thing too. The visuals that you're seeing right here, this webcam is totally separate from my audio. Uh, I'm recording right directly into QuickTime, and when I go to uh, process this file, what not have you, I will not change the the sound properties. So what you see and what you hear is what you get. Now, uh, but I think I said this before, but check out my other video. The last video I did, the number of the video was 085. I always put a, a, a numerical designation at the end of my file so I know how many files I've done on YouTube here. It's just it's just a little way I... It's just, it's just a part of the way I, my filing system works in my brain, I guess. Okay. And... Let me see. What I'm going to do here, I've got a... Well, I've, yeah. I've got a harp here, a harmonica. Now, I'm not going to play no song... I'm not a very good harpist. I'm, I got one of these voices like Bowser, you know what I mean? Shot on all. I've really got a deep voice, and so I'm not much of a singer or any of that other kind of stuff. But I do fool around with playing harps. But I'm just going to go up and down the diatonic scale or the harmonic scale. This is a special 20. It's in the key of D. And what I'm going to do is take this little poop, this this preamp that I got here, turn it down a little bit. I'll turn it down a bit. In other words, I'm going to back off the gain, both incoming and outgoing, about 25% or so. So you'll you'll hear my voice you'll hear my voice drop off. But let's do this with this harp here. Just going to run through a few keys, few notes. Excuse me. Let me crank this back up just a little bit more. That's about all, all this file is all about is just to show you what an SM, <clears throat> I sure, an SM sure mic sounds like. And, well, it's an SM58. Let me get my, <laughs> it's early in the morning here. I haven't had enough coffee. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching the video.